In this video, I will show you how to install Windows 11 on Mac using VirtualBox. My name is Sharoz and this channel is all about showing you how to become an IT pro really fast. So without any further ado, let's get started. Well, the new Microsoft Windows 11 sensation is right around the corner. Sometimes you have that urge to get it beforehand. You want to try out the new and improved start menu, taskbar, and the features of using Android apps in Windows. While you have a new generation MacBook, which is not directly compatible with Windows operating system. With the release of the new and improved sensation from Microsoft, your desire to have a Windows operating system is beyond the rope. And due to some needs of the Windows only applications, having a MacBook alternative doesn't fit very well. Well, lucky for inhabitants of the planet Earth, there is a thing called virtualization. What is a virtualization? To its very basic definition, virtualization is the process of running an operating system within another running operating system. Now, in order to install Windows 11 on Mac, there are a couple of prerequisites. The minimum requirements for installing Windows 11 on Mac is that you should have a VirtualBox and you can download it from virtualbox.org and you need an ISO file of Windows 11 plus you should have at least 4 GB of RAM available for installing Windows 11 on VirtualBox. Plus you should also have storage of at least 64 GB free available for installing Windows 11. Now if we talk about the installation, first you need to install VirtualBox on your Mac using the installer that you can download from the virtualbox.org. So after that, follow the instructions shown in the installer using the default settings provided should be enough for our needs. After that, open up the VirtualBox by clicking on its icon on your dock or launchpad. And once it is opened, on the menu bar at the top of the window, click on the new button. This will open up a second window where you can enter the name of your new virtual machine, the virtual machine's storage location, its type, and finally its version. So type your preferred name for your virtual machine, leave the machine folder in default and afterward select the Microsoft Windows as the type and Windows 10 64-bit as the version. Windows 10 would be fine for installing Windows 11. After that, click on the next button and in the next step, you will be required to select your memory allocation for your virtual machine. So either you can use the slider or you can type in the value into the field on the right side of the slider. Although the minimum memory requirement for Windows 11 is 1 GB, but we would recommend at least 4 GB or 4096 MB for a smooth experience. After selecting the memory, click on the next and you will be in the hard disk step. Here select create a virtual hard disk and click create. Select VDI VirtualBox disk image as the hard disk file type and then click next. After that, set the storage on a physical hard drive as dynamically allocated. And lastly, select where you want your virtual machine to be saved. And along with that, also select the maximum size that it can take up in your Mac computer. Remember that Windows 11 requires at least 64 gigabytes to function. So after selecting the size of the virtual hard disk, click create. And right after a short period of loading, a new virtual machine should be listed on the left side of VirtualBox Manager. Now at this step, a new virtual machine is created. However, you should have some necessary settings for setting up your virtual machine to run on Windows. So simply right click on the name of your newly created virtual machine, select the settings from the drop down, and it will open up the settings window of your new virtual machine. Now here, first go to the storage tab and click the empty disk under the storage device section. On the right side of the screen, you should see the attribute section. Now click the CD icon beside the optical disk drop down. Select choose a disk file and on the opened window, navigate and find the Windows 11 ISO image that you previously downloaded and you want to feed it as an bootable ISO file. After selecting it, wait for your virtual machine to load and that's it. Your Windows 11 virtual machine is ready to use. Now to run your virtual machine, go back to the VirtualBox main screen and double click on its name. It will open up a screen that has a Windows loading screen. From here onwards, installation of Windows 11 would be really simple. Simply follow the instructions 
to set your preferences and other settings. The installation of Windows 11 will start. And during the installation process, simply select your language, time format, and click on the Install Now button. Accept the Microsoft license terms. And here in the type of installation, if you just want to upgrade the version of Windows already running, then select the upgrade. Otherwise, select custom type if you want to completely format the drive, create and set the partition and install new windows. Now I'm just gonna delete all the previous partitions and create a new partition for Windows 11. Once it's done, make sure you have selected the primary partition and click on the next button to start the installation process of Windows 11. It will take a few moments to copy and install files. So let me just fast forward it as well. All right, after copying files, the computer will restart and ask for a few configurations in Windows setup, like setting up your country region, keyboard layout, signing up, setting up the password, etc. And after all this, the computer will again restart and within a few minutes, you will have the fresh welcome screen of Windows 11. So this is how you can install Windows 11 on Mac using VirtualBox. That's it for this video. I hope now you can enjoy Windows 11 on your Mac. Like, subscribe and hit the bell icon to get more informative content just like this. Thank you.